Hey everybody, Jamie here, and I'm just getting up this morning, and we've got a big day planned, and so we're going to do the some work on the Corvette. It's throwing, well, I can't say it's throwing codes because I can't get it to, but uh, it's running rough, and I found a, a serious uh, vacuum leak in it last night, and I wasn't able to just cut the hose off a little bit and push it back on. The, these hoses are so deteriorated all over this. I have already cut off the end of the hose on the cruise control and pushed it back on, but it's gonna go in any day. And so I ordered a bunch of hoses and uh, what else? I got a fuel uh, gauge, fuel pressure gauge. So we're gonna go uh, fiddle around with that. I'm gonna put a fuel pump on that I already have, a fuel filter on that I already have, and we'll see if we can get that vacuum hose situation straight. In the meantime, at uh, noon, we've got appointments at the Department of Motor Vehicles. We've got three titles, and all three of them are messed up in one way or another. So we're going to get out and see if we can get those straightened out. And besides that, it's hard to say. We've got a sunny day. I put some seed and some fertilizer down a few days ago. <laughs> and so maybe I'll go put some water on it. Uh, let's get it. Let's get after it. We are gonna take mom because two of the titles are hers, and in Maryland, anyway, when you go to the DMV, you can only set two a maximum of two items on your appointment list, and we have three titles, so the Corvette, they never sent us the title on that, so we don't have it from the beginning. The uh, Acadia, which is a car I haven't spoken about, another car that those guys had when we got here. The title is uh, Lost in Action, or Missing in Action. Let's get it. Want some help? I think I can make it. She's been doing pretty good lately. I got you on video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're doing videos. Don't fall on camera. It won't look good for the insurance. You want some help? No. Doing good. Lean over. All right. So we're gonna go to the DMV. The Acadia, we need a new title. <clears throat> the Acadia, we need a new title. The Corvette, we need a new title. And then mine, they misspelled my last name. Now my, my last name is spelled D-I-M-O-N, but it's pronounced Diamond. Right. And my whole life, I've had to make sure that it's spelled right. You know, it's almost like a curse having this last name in, the, in regard to its spelling. Right. For, for instance, uh, I don't even, when they say, what's your last name? On the phone or whatever, I don't even say it. I just spell D-I-M-O-N. Right. Well, the guy at the DMV, you know, they're supposed to ask you, does everything look correct before we make this title? And I know to hone in on my last name because if anything is going to be wrong, it's my last name. Right. And everything was fine. I left and I came back. Let's get some air going. I came back uh, with the right paperwork, whatever, whatever it was. I think the first time I went there, I didn't have the right paperwork. So the second time I went, I had it. Yeah. And uh, got the title. And there was this guy that I dealt with at the booth you know you get your ticket and they send you to the different booths and uh so i go to my booth and it's this kid maybe 30 years old mind you there's at least 30 cameras in that place from the top down you know filming every conceivable movement and uh i'm there i get the tags I'm walking out and the guy is sitting on the bench 
and I say, he said, I'm sorry, he's sitting on a bench in the hallway on the way out, and I'm filming for you my day at the DMV, and so I just, I'm filming as I'm walking out, and there's this big, tall um, security guard there, like a, in a uniform and a badge and everything, and he's in the hallway, I'm walking out, and I'm filming me leaving. All right, I'm leaving the DMV. I got my title straightened away finally. And that kid that wrote me the title was sitting on a bench, taking a break or whatever right there. Yeah. And as I'm walking out, I'm looking at the camera and I see him sitting on the bench. And I go, hey, there's that guy uh, from my first visit. And he looks up and he says, you don't have permission to film me. And I said, well, I won't, I won't include you. I won't film you if you don't want to be, but I actually can film you because you're in a public place. And that tall security guard cop, he was standing right there at my shoulder. And he said, yeah, he can film you. And I said, much less there's 30 cameras in this building that I can count, but I won't film you. And he got up and ran away like, um, like he told somebody he was gonna be someplace else besides there that day and he didn't want to yeah. get caught. It was, it, you know, it was just, it was like that. Yeah. And you never saw him because I didn't include it in the video. Uh -huh. Then I get my title back and my last name is spelled D-A-M-O-N. <laughs> Coincidence? Maybe you not. tell me. Maybe not. All right, we're here at the Maryland Department of Transportation Motor Vehicles Administration. And we have an appointment. There it is. And there's Maul. You want some help? No, I can do it. All right, I'm gonna go over and help you anyway. Okay. So we're just about 10 minutes before our appointment. And I don't know, probably the better part of an hour later, we're coming out. I didn't want to put my camera on this time inside because the lady had a hard time with, uh, with my title. How's it going? Right, how pretty good, pretty good. And so she was kind of agitated and I didn't want to, uh, you know, add to it. So that will be taken to your table and then we will bring everything to you. Oh, great, thank you. And then here's oh. your Coke right. and then the milkshake and your food will be out to you. Thank you. My pleasure. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Y'all enjoy. Thanks. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. So you just you just want some over the counter readers? Do you want to go outside? That last a week. They took you out last week. That last a week. That last a week. Oh, the ketchup? I'm talking about going outside. Going outside? I don't know. I can take this and wheel you outside. You want to go outside? Let's make a run for it. Here, I'm pushing and you ain't. What do you got, push Dave? Come on, I got this. Okay. You just worry about your sprint. <laughs> We're gonna get there way before you. Yeah, that's close that's enough. That's about as close as I can find. That's about two feet I put off for you. Seven. See what you get. Jamie? Yep. We're here at this place that I saw coming home from the gym last year, and I didn't know if they had anything out yet, but we came by and they did, and this guy runs it himself, and I don't know anything about plants, so it's a good thing that we were able to connect with a guy that can tell me all about them as far as partial shade and how much watering to do, and 
mom picked out something that she liked. What do you like for particularly in flowers? I don't know. I just like the ones we got. Okay. Well, we're going to go plant these. And uh, see how they do. And then we'll be back in a little while, maybe a month or so, now that when it's consistently warmer and see what he's got out. He's, he said he's always got things coming out according to the time of year. So having a big day. I guess the rabbits aren't around. This thing has got some kind of localized uh, alarm on it that when it senses you're near the car, it unlocks. And when you walk away, it locks. And I'm just sitting, sitting here with the keys in my pocket and it just keeps cycling through that horn beep. So we'll got, we gotta see, but I, I just wanna show you this. I took the cover off. I took the covers off on the other side too. And look at all these little uh, seeds that have been shelled and all these uh, these leaves, these seeds here with the little wing on them. I, I can't remember what those are from, but uh, this, this is under the plastic. So this wouldn't have just wound up there on their own. <clears throat> so it's got me concerned that we're gonna be dealing with some chewed up this and chewed up that so i'm gonna go get my my vacuum and i'm gonna vacuum this the other side looks the same way check our hoses i did get some uh fuel line that's about the same inner diameter that uh, i'm gonna try to use as a vacuum line on this i see no reason why a fuel line wouldn't be just like overkill so why not and eventually i'll see i gotta find a Corvette parts uh, website <clears throat> that's got a diagram of this vehicle and I can pick out every single part with a part number and then order that way. That's how I was set up on my dirt bike and I really loved it, getting the exact right part instead of, you know, trying to make something work with a non-OEM part. So anyway, I'm going to vacuum this up. I don't know if I'm going to be pulling the camera out every time I do a step or something I might just you know it's getting dark it's getting late in the day <clears throat> so I might just see you tomorrow see ya